impossible is a word that shouldn't even be in the dictionary anymore. I think that Nelson Mandela said it best because he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. It's all about connecting with our clients and customers. Your clients and customers want to feel valued. They want to feel cared about. They want to feel like they matter. The essence of building these relationships and connecting with your clients and customers to create the world-class experience is simply a matter of listening for their stories and personalizing their experience based upon those stories. Jeff is the founder and chief question officer of Think Again, a speaking and consulting company that helps people and organizations build relationships that drive results. Keep it simple. The lessons we need in life, we learn by the time we're in kindergarten. So let's get this straight. I attract people. People want to be around me. They're, they feel connected to me. Would that help you in your business? We like to say, oh yeah, you can go be a day maker, but this is about the core of your business. The power of a smile is amazing. Wow, 19 years old and he figured out the secret of life. He had. Treat people like they matter. Make sure they feel valued. Make sure they know they're cared about. And that is the essence of what we're here about today. The lesson from a tragedy is really the lesson of life and to transform your business. Because that is the essence of a world-class experience. Your clients and customers want to feel valued. They want to feel cared about. They want to feel like they matter. So how do we connect with people in this disconnected world? Because things have changed, and they've not changed for the better. Think about it. It used to be, where did we buy our books 10 years ago? At a bookstore. Where do we buy them now? Online. In fact, this is so crazy. I was at a conference two weeks ago. The author, we've got authors here. The author is there signing books. A friend of mine walked up to me. There's tables of books. He said, and they just heard this person speak, said, she's amazing. I've got to buy her book. And she's standing right here. And he's this far away. And he says, I've got to get her book, but I'm going to get it on Amazon. It's cheaper. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm going to save $4 and I could buy it now? This world, we've shifted to this technologically based world, this efficient world, this cost saving world. And it's not a good shift, but we can get past it. Jeff is the founder and chief question officer of Think Again, a speaking and consulting company that helps people and organizations build relationships that drive results. Jeff's programs are interesting, engaging, and inspiring with lots of ideas to implement in your business and your life. Are you ready to accelerate your business and your results? Contact us at 216-373-7610 to book Jeff to speak with your organization. You pulled into the station and someone came out of the building and for some of these companies they actually ran to your car. They ran to your car to come out and say, pump your gas, I'm going to check your oil, you need it topped off and they wiped your windshield. Think about what would happen today if someone approached your car with a squeegee at a service station. You would do one of two things. You would either roll up your window and speed away, or you'd reach for a dollar, assuming it's a homeless person coming to clean your windshield. How crazy has this world gotten? Because we're so disconnected. So how do we beat the system? How do we beat society? How do we beat culture? How do we connect to our clients and customers? How many of you remember passing notes in school? OK, I remember watching them being passed. Yeah, I'm looking for some sympathy here. Because I was never actually noteworthy. I think I was talked about in some notes, 
but I don't remember actually sending one or receiving one. But today, we don't pass notes, we text, right? So what is the number one way in America today to break up with someone? Via text. If you can't read it, it says, hey, idiot. I thought that was, really wasn't true, but I had an experience this spring that told me otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> Part of me was elated. because I said, oh my god, I just got broke up with by text. I am finally cool. <laughs> it took me 51 years to be noteworthy, and it came in a text. Jeff has an established reputation for building strong relationships and using those relationships to help others enhance their own success. Jeff's workshops will empower your team to build relationships that will enhance their performance and their engagement. There is no more sincere praise than from those who have experienced Jeff's presentation firsthand and put his ideas to work. My teams leave Jeff's workshops both energized and committed to improving the interaction of their own teams. And what's cool about all the things we're talking about, about this, the way that we can use Secret Service, personalize the experience through their stories, it creates not only great relationships and great experiences, the word that keeps coming to me is extraordinary because it's so far beyond the norm. It's so far beyond anything we've experienced. We talk about the 3%. This is the 3% realm, but it was easy. It was really easy to get there. This is Dick and Rick Hoyt. Dick is the older gentleman in the back. That's Rick in the wheelchair. In 1962, Rick was born and due to oxygen deprivation, was diagnosed as a spastic quadriplegic. And they've asked Rick, Rick, why do you love this racing? And Rick said, because it's the only time I don't feel handicapped. And they've asked Rick one other question over and over. If you could be fully healthy for one day, what would you do? And we all know the answer. I'd push my dad. It's an amazing story about two people or a family that overcame what everybody said was impossible. And it's a word that I've worked to give up. Impossible is a word that shouldn't even be in the dictionary anymore. I think that Nelson Mandela said it best, because he said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Until it's done. But the sad part to me is, I've had people hear this story and said, Jeff, great story. Thanks for sharing. But that's, they're extraordinary. I can't do that. We can't do that. You ever had that conversation in your business? That's too big. That's too hard. We can't grow our business 100%. We've never done it. It's too big. We can't create world-class experience. It's too hard. We're too far behind. I don't believe these two are extraordinary at all. What I believe they are is a couple of ordinary people who created the extraordinary. I have a friend who said to me once, he, I don't know where the quote came from, he said, you know, God sure must love ordinary people because he made a lot of us. What I believe is each one of us is ordinary. But within each one of us is the capacity to create extraordinary. And I invite each one of you to embrace the extraordinary in you and to take it back to your teams with a mindset that I'm going to help my team members create the extraordinary, because I know it's in them. Nicole talked about believing in the, your team. Believing in them, supporting them. Jack talked about valuing them. All these things we're talking about are the same for your team members. So take this back. Create extraordinary for yourselves, your team members, and your organization. And you will have challenges, you will have setbacks, you're going to have stumbles, it's going to happen. But remember this, that every journey begins with a single step, or perhaps just a smile. Thank you.
Are you ready to accelerate your business and your results? Jeff's workshops will empower your team to build relationships that will enhance their performance and their engagement. These are just a few of the comments from those who have applied Jeff's tips and tools to their business and lives and achieved better relationships and better results. I had the pleasure of hearing Jeff Nishwitz speak and he is truly amazing. I consider Jeff's material a life-changing event. Jeff's message was down to earth, humorous, and important, and the audience listened. Bravo, Jeff. Jeff's motivational presentation has the power to lift a person up to a place where they feel they can achieve anything. To learn more about Jeff's speaking programs or to book Jeff for your group or event, contact us at 216-373-7610 or contact us via email at jeff at thinkagaincoaching.com.